everybody. As I mentioned yesterday, I'm going to my hair appointment today. I'm just quickly getting ready to go. Um, I'm trying to decide what I want to do. Everyone's getting really cool, fresh new haircuts right now. Like Charlotte cut her hair a lot shorter and it looks so cute. I like it a lot. And Venus just dyed her hair black and cut it into a short bob too, which also looks adorable. And me, I just keep sticking to the same thing because I'm scared of change. I don't know what to do. I was thinking to um, check on one of those apps, those apps that let you try on hairstyles to see what I would look like. Go with this one. All right, let's go with female medium. I feel like that's short. Oh, oh yeah, this is like Charlotte's hairstyle or something I want to do later. Okay, I can kind of see that, guys. It's not that bad. That's kind of like the length I was thinking around here. I've had to wear a lot of dark wigs for work in Hong Kong, and I actually don't mind it. My mom has dark hair. What do you guys think about that color? I think I found it, guys. There we go. <laughs> I look like uh, Sharon Osbourne. Oh, that little blonde idiot. <laughs> here's Venus style me. All right, here's me with short hair. I feel like I have a lot of time for that, though. I'm not going to do that quite yet. I don't know. <sighs> I really have to go now, though. It's almost 3 o'clock, and I have to be there really soon. So I'm going to head there now. I'm still going to think about it on the way. This is what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing the same jeans again today. Shh. I just really like them. And actually both things are from Style Nanda today. This shirt is really old. And even the shoes are from Style Nanda. When I was doing that app thing and I put the bangs on my face, I realized I feel like bangs really don't suit me. I don't know what I was thinking for so long. I don't know, like they look okay, but I feel like they make my face look even more round than it already is. I don't know, I don't, I don't feel like they really suit me, so I'm kind of happy that I've been growing them out. They're almost there. They're like right here now. Yeah, they're almost grown out. Still growing them, so I'm not gonna cut them again, I think. All right, let's go to the hair salon. I'm here with Yuki. <laughs> so we decided to go, what did we decide, black? short with um, <laughs> something like this color. <laughs> no, um, we're gonna do the same as always, I'm boring. But we're gonna do Ola, Olaplex? Olaplex this time. Yeah, that treatment to help with the damage that my hair, because it's always matted. But we're gonna cut it first, do highlights. I mean, cut it first with layers and then do a little bit of highlights and a little bit of ombre effect on the ends after, plus the Olaplex, plus the toner. I got it all right. <laughs> All right, let's go. So we're gonna take off this one, she said, like three, four inches. I'm doing a new style of bangs here. It's shorter, guys. Okay, now we're gonna do the color. Yeah, so much more layers. Much shorter, <laughs> and I can get my fingers through my hair without any knots now. Finally, do you have a good stack of magazines? Oh, you don't have any. I have That's pretty enticing. Yeah, I love coming here for the magazines. <laughs> oh, you got something perfect. <laughs> kind of catch up on the English gossip. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I have like so many. Yeah. They're so expensive here, so I like to catch up. I know, and you're never in England. Exactly. <laughs> I have a few gossip ones. Oh, perfect. I love, yeah, I love these really cheap yeah. gossip ones. <laughs> <laughs> Getting wrapped in Serena. Am I going under the oven thing? Oh, it looks like I'm like married. <laughs> With a halo. The front, mm. so the back is ready. Front's not. We're never on the back. I have my favorite part. In the <laughs> What's your channel called? Um, Taylor R. Ta Taylor R. Yep, it's my name. Okay, just R. <laughs> yeah, just R. In, nothing <laughs> in between. <laughs> no. Okay. This is step three. Take home. So you do it once a week before shampoo. Could you help me to show the bow? Okay. 
Thank you. Okay, so apparently the lights that are here, so I'm just <laughs> creeping in this corner. Okay. This is Could a good product placement too. Yeah. You buy all these products here. <laughs> Turn? Yes. Oh. Nice. Thank you. I love Thank it. You. Done. Every time I come to the salon, I'm like, Taylor, leave yourself enough time. Go grab some snacks. You're going to be a while in the salon. It always takes me like four to five hours, just like now. But then I do things like photoshopping my face onto different hairstyles and I leave myself no time. And then I come out here starving like a ravaging hungry beast. Give me something! Guys, it is very late. You know it's late when I have my contact lenses out and my glasses on. It's 11 o'clock. I just finally finished the video and uploaded it. It was late tonight, sorry. Um, I thought I would do a Tay Talk tonight since I haven't in a while. I thought I'd just answer just a few questions because I feel like I haven't talked much today. <laughs> I spent so long at the hair salon, like five hours. But I'm really happy with my hair, I must say. It's kind of in a weird part right now. I don't know what to do with the part. He didn't add any heat to it, like a flat iron or curling iron or anything, so it would look even smoother, I feel. But the Olaplex worked so well. Last time I did the... So I did a few highlights, two colors, in throughout my whole hair, like really thin highlights. One bright, lighter blonde, and one darker than my hair blonde, I believe. Um, or like a goldenish blonde. And then I did the ombre at the bottom, so he hand painted these pieces to make it lighter. And I told him to especially focus around my face, like trying to make it lighter. So overall, it's lighter, it's brighter, it's layered, so it actually is lighter, um, like in weight. <laughs> and yeah, I love it. It feels so much softer and smoother. So I'm gonna keep using that Olaplex thing once a week, that treatment that he gave me to take home. And yeah, I really love it. So, let's do a Tay Talk. At Kai Pugbutt, how would you describe your taste in fashion, use, fashion using a couple words? By the way, I love you and you inspire me. Love you too. Um, always changing. At Thiagmugwet <laughs> Dasha, um, what's one moment that you'd say changed your life forever? Uh, the first thing that comes to my mind would be the time I decided to take an overseas contract and leave my little town in Canada and travel overseas for modeling. Could you say a word in Hungarian? It means hello, love from Hungary. Sziasztok. Sziasztok. I have no idea if I'm saying that right at all. I've never even heard someone say that. At fur underscore Lizano, have you ever thought of cutting your hair shorter? all the time i even thought about it today but yeah i'm still gonna wait till my bangs grow out so they're about here so maybe when they're around here or something i'll do it at 97 ming Yu, do you have an irrational fear of anything yes um high jump the track and field game when i was in school elementary school we would always have a few games that we would have to play we would have to train for and do on track and field day every time we had that in gym class i would get my mom to write a note to the teacher saying i'm sick and i had to be exempted from gym class i never would participate in it i never jump on it i, I don't know it's just jumping over poles scares me <laughs> maybe i should face that fear right now for you guys but not with a pole like can i jump over to run and then kick up to there, okay? okay. I don't know why I psych myself out when I have to lift my legs over something while I'm running. Here we go. When you believe you hold on forever to the dream that sets you free and makes you so <laughs> I just faced my fear. No, actually, a couch is easy because you have a soft spot to land on, but poles, that's another level. Poles scare the crap out of me. I hated that. 2020 Olympics, I'm coming for you. I'm already halfway there and I'm in Tokyo now. I'm gonna get ready for bed now. It's 11.15 and I wanted to sleep a lot earlier. I actually have a lot to do tomorrow. It's gonna be a busy day, so time to have a bath and get into bed. I just wanted to show you guys these new gadgets we got so my boyfriend messaged me he was in bit camera and he was like i'm gonna get 
a heater and a humidifier and I was like no it's gonna be so like cluttering and ugly on the floor that's the bath by the way that noise but he got it anyways and it they're actually really cool oh I need to refill this um, so that number is quite low now like the the room is only around 10 to 20 percent humidity and I want to get up to 40 when I'm sleeping I usually put it up there and my skin is feeling so much better like everything was so dry my hair my skin but I'm sleeping so much better my boyfriend used to always get like really dry bloody noses and he isn't getting them now so that really works and then this is a heater and this one's cool because you control it with an app on your phone. It says it's 28, but it doesn't feel like 28 because down here is like crazy cold. But um, you can basically turn it on and off from wherever you are. Like I don't even have to be in the house. So I could be on the way home and I want my room to be warmed up and I could turn it on there. And you can control the temperature, sleep mode, different modes, timers. Yeah, turn it on and off. I thought that was pretty cool. I feel like that's the future of technology or it should be. We should be able to control everything with our phone from wherever we are in a house. That would be so cool. Like, if I couldn't make it home and Rosie's um, in the, like, stuck at home in the dark, because when the sun goes down, it becomes dark, and I could turn on the lights for her or adjust the temperature of the house, or I don't know. You Actually, you can already do that with a lot of things. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I just like my, my new little toys sitting here in my room. Are you sleeping with me tonight? Are we having a sleepover tonight? I don't know why I'm so tired today. I basically did nothing. Getting, doing my hair is so exhausting. I don't know why. Just sitting there, like hair and nails. I, I don't like sitting in the same place for a really long time. But it has to be done. It has to be done. It looks so much better, I think. All right, I'm going to say goodnight to you guys. I, I always say it like that. I'm going to say goodnight to you guys instead of just saying goodnight, guys. <laughs> I have to say it like that and then say goodnight. Okay. Good night guys. I will see you again tomorrow. Bye. Good night.